Twitter. Uh, I'm in Manhattan right now. Uh, I think this is the second time I've been in Manhattan since I got back. I am eating a silk soy yogurt. Blueberry. Um, I like my outfit today. It's this top and then these pants and then these shoes. I don't know if you can see them. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I came into the city with my cousin and now I'm walking <coughs> to my job to have a meeting with my boss. Um, and I'm really, I had a really busy morning because I got an email about subbing tomorrow for a show. The company I work for, we go to hospitals and do shows for children. Um, so I got an email about subbing, then I got another email about subbing. So I have a show in the morning, uh, a meeting with, a, with an agent, and then another show, and then a Christmas party. So it'll be a busy day tomorrow, but I'm really excited. I'm excited. I'll get to, I'll be getting to see a lot of people in one go, um, even though I'm not like super rushed or pressed to see people since I'll be, I'm kind of, you know, back unofficially. Not unofficially, I guess officially, but, you know, until I book something out of town. Anyway, um, I did my makeup in the car. I'm working on um, letting my eyebrows grow in. Um, it's funny because I'll watch other vloggers and I'm like, I'm trying to think of things that you guys would find interesting, but I feel like it's just the everyday stuff that people find interesting. So I'm not going to feel any pressure to be like, oh, I have to tell them that I'm doing something big and amazing because, you know, I think it's interesting just looking in the lives of people and their normal day to day thing. Um, really nice out. It's maybe 60, 65 degrees in New York City. City. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Howdy. Uh, it's December 16th. It's two, mm, no, three. I don't know. I have no idea what time it is. I'm walking to uh, where I'm staying in New Jersey. Just got off the bus and life is funny and not funny in a way in terms of, I don't, I don't believe in coincidences. I think everything happens for a reason. So I was um, in Port Authority trying to figure out which bus to take to get back and uh, I got the name of the station or the number it was like 212 one or something but then when I went upstairs to go look for the gate it said that the bus was leaving from a different one but I think it was a different bus leaving at a different time anyway so I get on this bus and I'm, I had waited for the bus for like almost over half an hour because it was different than the one I was originally going to take. Hang on. So, um, I ended up getting on the other bus and this woman sits next to me and um, she was just so lovely and um, she, I asked her if that was the right time. I said, what time did you expect this bus to leave? Because I'm thinking, these buses are always this late. I need to be aware of that. And she said, oh no, this one left on time. I think it was another one we were thinking of. And we just ended up chatting. And she was just so lovely. And she gave me her card. There's no sidewalk here. That's dangerous. She ended up giving me her card. And it was just really nice chatting with her. And we were kind of talking about communal living in a sense. And, you know, it was, she mentioned the idea of, like, buying a building. And, you know, having apartments for each of your friends like for you and one for you one for your girlfriends whatever and I was like I've so had that thought many times because I love my friends and I would love to 
I'd love them to be close enough in the sense of like, hey, what are you doing? I just cooked, come up. Or, you know, like I'm, I'm gonna come down and we're gonna have a girls night or whatever. But then also wanting my own separate space as well. And I have a lot of hair and having my own bathroom. So I don't necessarily need to, you know, share that. So, any, so it was just, it was interesting. And I've found that the idea of vulnerability isn't exclusive to telling somebody that you love them or crying during a sad movie or, you know, con- confronting somebody when you're angry with them. It's even saying, it's even reaching out to the person sitting next to you and saying, was this the right time for the bus? Or um, I was at Trader Joe's and I asked this couple behind me, I said, would you mind if I grab something in this aisle? And he said, sure. And he said, he said I'll even kick your basket for you, forward for you if you want. And, you know, I grabbed my thing and we were just chatting a little bit. And like, that's, that's vulnerability. That's, you know, I could have not said anything and kind of not let that wall down. You know, I think, I think vulnerability extends into the small things that people do. Um, I was on the plane coming here back from London and I, there was this woman sitting next to me and she looked really familiar and I said, are you, are you an actor? And we ended up talking on the plane for like three hours and, you know, exchanging information. She ended up not being an actor, but, um, but you know, things like that, I think being, and I, and I also feel like it's where I am in my life in terms of what I'm open to, what I'm extracting that I don't need, what I'm keeping in and what I want to allow in. And uh, it's really nice, I don't know, kind of having this feeling of that things are in sync. Um, meeting that woman today, having met other people recently. I, went, I was on the bus yesterday and 